what we're doing is we're evaluating the safety of uh, the existing concrete bridges in the Netherlands. And this is one of the tests we just done uh, yesterday. As you can see, it's a part of uh, a real bridge, which is 50 years old already. Um, we put the, the, the beam uh, on supports uh, here and there, which is more or less the same as what it stands in the original bridge. And during the test, we apply the load through this very heavy hydraulic jacks. It can deliver 500 tons of force at that spot. And the size of the spot is comparable to the wheel print of a truck. What we do is we gradually increase the force to the level we want, and we hold, it, hold the force so that then we do all the measurements. And after a while, we release it a bit and apply it again to, to make a number of load cycles, which is a situation of a real truck coming on the bridge and getting off. And after that, we gradually increase the load level step by step uh, until the point we reach the ultimate capacity of the beam so that it fails. In the end, we need 238 tons of force to crush this beam. That's, think about the trucks coming from Rotterdam Harbor. The maximum weight normally allowed is 60 tons in the Netherlands, which means you need four of these really heavy container trucks standing on a single wheel on this spot to crush this beam. Through this set of tests, we are able to understand better how this type of structure fails and so that we can model the actual capacity of this type of bridge uh, in general. And there are quite a lot of this type of bridge in the Netherlands. We want to investigate the possibility of monitoring the existing bridges and obtain information uh, through our sensors so that um, we can have better judgment to the condition of the bridges uh, to help us to decide whether the bridge is in good health or close to failure or somewhere in between. And that's additional information which we previously cannot get uh, from uh, only calculating.